We're not, we're throwing the idea of a single leader out the window because really we, we, this is going to become a multi-leader, I think. So if, if we just take out the worst branches, that's a bad one there, that's a bad one there. What sort of cuts are you doing, Jim? So I'm leaving a short stub here so that there's a good chance of hopefully some weak side branches, some, re, uh, some short growth. What, what we want, and here's a good example of these short shoots here, and at the end of those shoots is a big fat bud. That's like a spur on the end of a short shoot in both cases. And these are, should fruit and carry, they should flower and fruit. So what we want to get to over the next two, three years is, is a tree that has lots of short shoots that are up to about one foot long, and then they will develop spurs. So we have, it takes time for that process, and we have to <coughs> let that happen. So heading back is really bad. Yeah. Yeah, if you can explain that, that would be, be great. Okay, so I'll, I'll just continue uh, getting the worst branches out of this tree. So that one is completely upright. Com so, and here we see this has been headed. And the, net, the result of this heading, maybe headed again in the, in the summertime, but the, the net result is only vegetative growth and no spurs at all. So I'll get rid of that. Now that, these shoots are, are really too long, longer than we want, but we may have to keep them. I, I haven't yet decided. I'm still getting rid of the worst branches in the tree. Here again we see there's been a heading cut into upright wood and maybe some summertime some some heading back into upright wood and the response is vegetative growth. So I'm back here again, Jada, let's be able to go to the Jada. Okay, so just moving around, and here again, uh, that's almost as a new leader. It's 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 taller than the than the leader itself. So we definitely don't want that. And here I'm going to do a, a Dutch cut or a bevel cut. So, we, so we'd like to see we've left some dormant buds in the base there, and hopefully we'll get some regrowth. That will be planter. Okay, so so we're already the tree is, is different now. Here we've got some some low shoots with re reasonably flat angles. This one is a bit more upright. So I'm going to make the decision to keep these and and these are going to become new leaders in the tree. This one is in, be in between, so I'll get rid of that. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I've, I've nearly finished. I'm going to take this one out because it's, well actually no I won't, there, there's almost some spurs there and that what we can do now is minimum pruning but when we come into leaf we want to tie, bend some of these branches down so they'll develop more spurs. Do you want me to tie them down? Yeah, yeah, it would be good as an example. So I'm just taking the, the last couple of the most vigorous upright branches. This one's coming back the other way. Maybe I can tuck that. Okay, so I'm going to stop pruning now. You'll, you'll see that I've done, I haven't done any heading cuts. And, and I, I, I'm accepting the fact that I have a lot of these shoots which are, are much longer and much stronger than I want. But if I keep pruning this tree, the response will only be more vegetative growth. But so now we've got a, a lot of one-year-olds and they in the coming season will develop spurs. And that will be our fruiting potential for the following year. I wouldn't expect that this tree will carry many apples this year. We do have some 
we're on these terminal buds, uh, there's there's the potential for some fruit, but but we have very few spurs, and and, and that's just the situation we're in at this point. The tree. So when, oh, could it, could we have a translation of that or please? तो आप लोगों को ये जैसे बता रहे ना इन्होंने एक एक इन्होंने निकाल दी एक भी हेड बैक नहीं किया इन्होंने कहीं भी देखा आपने इन्होंने निकाली तो पूरी या तो पूरी टाइमिंग करी कहीं आप इन्होंने हेड बैक कहीं भी नहीं किया करा है ना तो ये एक चीज़ है और दूसरे इन्होंने जब रही इनको ये चीज़ छोड़ दिए तो अब नेक्स्ट ईयर को इनमें जो है हेड बैक करके स्पर आ जाएंगे जिसमें आप नेक्स्ट ईयर को और पीछे भी आ सकते हैं अगर स्टॉक स्पर में आ रहे ना एक बार स्पर आने के बाद ठीक है दूसरा जो भी इन्होंने यहाँ से भी अपराइट जा रहे थे ना इनको स्टब छोड़ा इतना आगे ना तो यहाँ से आपको एक शूट भी निकल सकता है और कहीं पे मुड़ा भी आ सकता है ना तो ये चीज़ है दूसरा अगर आपको अपनी तरफ से कोई कमी लग रही है इसमें कि ये ब्रांच क्यों रखी आपने इसको क्यों नहीं डाया वो भी बता सकते हैं आप इनसे पूछ भी सकते हैं well, the reason I haven't removed it is that uh, we have a, a, a the situation is the situation we're in, which is a tree that has very strong growth because of the cyan rooting and all this the heading cuts. So I'm trying to do minimal pruning to to have uh, a lot of to keep the maximum number of shoots that will develop spurs. And, and so I'm I'm accepting that I have some overlapping. Ugly. I'm accepting that this is growing in the wrong direction because it's more important to have to do as quickly as we can to increase the fruiting potential of this tree. And the only way we can do that is to allow one-year-old shoots go into a second and third year when they will develop fruiting spurs. So if we keep cutting them off, we're, we're like trapped on this endless cycle of, of never getting fruiting potential on the tree. So don't head. Yeah. So what... Okay. Oh, that one down is an example. This one here. I know, that one that you bent before. Here. Yeah. Okay, so, so again, the important principles are when we prune in the winter time, the response of the tree is vegetative growth. Okay, translate that to yeah. one point at a time. When you say in winter, you will prune it like this, you will prune it more vegetative growth. So it will be better to leave it now, and then you will prune it later. Then it will be less growth, otherwise it will be more growth. Then it will be more growth. So yeah, depending on how this tree responds in the, in the, in the coming summertime, I would say in about mid-season, say a month before the monsoon, that would be a good time to see what is required for summer pruning. And if there are any new, strong, upright, one-year-old water shoots or vegetative shoots, yeah. And also in the, in the mid-season, starting from say about a month after bloom, that would be a good time to, to tie some branches down. It's not so good to do it in the winter. <laughs> so just as, as an example, so the winter time is, is not a good time because when we tie down, we'll get upright growth. But if, if we let the growth begin and to have short shoots, then we tie the branch down and all the shoots like this, all, they all come down so we want generally we want to tie down close to horizontal or, or we can even go below horizontal. It's probably better for this strong tree to be slightly below horizontal out here at the end. Thank you.
so yeah maybe it would be good to tie down about eight or, or ten shoots like this this coming summer yeah and, and, and I accept the point that this is growing the wrong way and maybe a couple more cuts if that's irritating you could remove that and could, could shorten this back as well is, is there no need to remove this branch? I don't, I would like, I want to keep these one, two, three because they have naturally a, uh, they are fairly flat they have naturally very uh, flat crotch angles, so that's strong, it's not going to break. So I'd be, I, if we leave these to develop spurs, they they can become part of this, of the, of the framework of this tree. So maybe now we could go back to where we started, which is a more typical tree that wasn't sign rooted and, and prune that. Unless there's any questions. Well, just I, know, um, I see that the cuts in the past have been protected with paste. Very good thing to do. Um, canker is a threat to the industry in Himashal, and a lot of the cankers you have come in through pruning wounds. So protection of fresh pruning wounds, particularly before any rainfall, is very important. And any of the pruning pastes that you use that have copper in them, so chubatia paste, cow dung paste with copper in it, will be effective wound treatments. Some orchards in Hamasha we see are using PVA glue, which is wood glue, liquid glue, dries clear. That's quite a good wound sealant. Um, in New Zealand, we tend to use fungicide paint. So this is um, house paint, water-based latex paint with fungicide in it, DMI fungicide, hexaconazole, um, or similar DMI fungicide, 50 mils in two litres um, is a good wound paint. no heading back. No, no heading back. No. No heading back. No. So when you head back like that, you just get five growing. 